Your imagination is the blueprint for your external world. If you wish to act as the best, you must first see yourself as the best in your mind's eye. Imagine yourself standing tall, achieving your dreams, and basking in the glory of your successes. Picture this image in your mind with such vividness and clarity that it feels as if it already exists. When you close your eyes, see yourself in the exact situation you desire. Hear the sounds, feel the sensations, and immerse yourself completely in this mental picture. This process is not merely daydreaming, it is an act of creation. By repeatedly visualizing your ideal self and circumstances, you program your subconscious mind to bring these visions to life. The power of imagination is such that it can override your current reality. It can bridge the gap between where you are and where you want to be. This is about wishful thinking or idle fantasies. It's about harnessing the creative power of your mind to manifest tangible changes in your life. The mind does not differentiate between real experiences and imagined ones it responds to both with equal intensity. When you consistently imagine yourself as the best, you align your thoughts, emotions, and actions with this new reality. Imagination is the starting point of all progress. It precedes every significant achievement in human history. The greatest inventors, artists, and leaders first saw their successes in the mind before they became reality. By imagining yourself as the best, you are following in the footsteps of these visionaries. You are using the same tool that has driven humanity forward for centuries. Every time you engage in this practice, you are planting seeds in the fertile soil of your subconscious mind. These seeds grow into beliefs, attitudes, and actions that shape your reality. You begin to notice opportunities where none seem to exist before. You start to attract people, resources, and circumstances that align with your vision. This is the law of attraction at work, driven by the power of your imagination. Moreover, imagination empowers you to transcend your current limitations. It allows you to break free from the constraints of your present situation and explore the infinite possibilities of what could be. When you imagine yourself as the best, you are not confined by past failures or current obstacles. You are free to create a new narrative, one that reflects your highest potential and deepest desires. In this way, imagination becomes the driving force behind your actions. When you see yourself as successful, you start to act in ways that lead to success. Your confidence grows, your resolve strengthens, and your efforts become more focused. This mental rehearsal prepares you for real-life challenges and equips you with the mindset needed to overcome them. Imagination as reality is not just a concept, it is a powerful practice that can transform your life. By embracing this truth and consistently visualizing yourself as the best, you create a new paradigm for yourself. You step into a world where your dreams are not just possibilities but imminent realities. This is the essence of acting as if you are the best to see it in your mind first and then watch as your external world aligns with this inner vision. Belief is the foundation upon which our entire lives are built. It is the lens through which we perceive the world and the driving force behind our actions. What you believe about yourself and your abilities shapes every aspect of your existence, influencing your thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. By believing that you are the best, you set in motion a powerful chain of events that aligns your actions and outcomes with that belief. Beliefs are like the operating system of our minds, determining how we process information and react to situations. When you hold a belief deeply, it becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy. If you believe in your greatness, your mind will naturally seek out evidence to support that belief, reinforcing it over time. Conversely, if you doubt yourself, your mind will find reasons to justify those doubts. You are the best. No one is better than you. Right? And I got this from Neville Godhart, a new person that, you know what I mean? I've been learning a lot about manifestation and everything like that. But I already kind of already knew this, right? I already knew that you are what you think. If you think higher, you are higher. If you think lower, you are lower, right? And this is just something that I want to really, before I get into this video, I really want to emphasize because I know a lot of people might think you're arrogant thinking this way. They might, you know, see this title and get absolutely, you know, hurt within their heart of like, oh, this guy's a dickhead, you know, he's arrogant, he's a cocky motherfucker, whatever it is, right? I just want to give you a different lens on that, right? Because I believe that's truly building yourself, right? Because as a man, we start from the bottom. 
we don't have any worth until we make ourselves worthy enough, right? Worthy enough for that girl, which a lot of people, you know, go for and shit like that. Or worthy enough in society. When you already believe you're worthy enough, you are already that. You are worthy enough because you are who you are. You know what I'm saying? But you need to really believe this and see this as a stepping stone to build yourself. It all starts from the mind. Our mind signals for us to go do certain things. My mind is signaling after this video to go hit the motherfucking gym to get better in what I do within my life, right? So I believe I am the best. I already know well, I don't believe I am the best. I know I'm the best, right? There's a difference within that. But you know what I mean? All of this stems from our belief systems. And if you have higher thoughts of, about yourself, you're going to get higher outcomes within yourself in your life. If you have lower self-belief systems and lower thoughts, you're going to have a lower life. It's simple like that. And a lot of people, right, they will hinder someone like me or they'll hinder someone who thinks higher of themselves, right? Or like how I say, move like a king to get treated like one. Like, yes, I am a king within my realm. That's, it is what it is. A lot of people will hate me for that, right? And they'll say not to act like him, not to think like him, not to have these thoughts. Oh, he's not humble. He's this, that, and the third. No, I only say this within my videos. I'm not going outside and saying, yelling outside, yeah, I'm the fucking king. Like, no, even though I believe it, but I'm not going outside like that. You know what I mean? And, you know, a lot of people will be like, don't be like him, right? But this is something else that I want you to really think about. Do you want to think like them? The person who's telling you not to think higher of yourself. Do you want to think lower of yourself? Do you want to be like them? You tell me. You can leave it in the comment section if I'm arrogant, whatever it is. But you tell me, would you rather have a thought process of, yes, I get a lot of women. Yes, I get a lot of money. Yes, I attract everything that I want within my life. Or do you want to have the thought process of, eh, my life is okay. It's all right. Because the people who think like that have an okay and all right, an all right life. You know what I'm saying? Like a pretty song light, like a cool life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Maybe the guy makes 40, 50 K a year. I want to make that a month. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my thought process. Would you rather have the thought process of higher thoughts of making more money, getting whatever you want within your, your life? Or would you rather have the thought process of no, stay humble, be, you know what I'm saying? Yada, 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 you know, have 40 K a year. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, you know what I'm saying? Like they, these people hinder people like me because it's other, it's, it's the confidence that I have within me of myself and knowing of what I would get and believing of what I would get within my life of how I maneuver, right? So another thing that I want you to understand is that I got this confidence in earning myself that I already knew I was the king, you know what I'm saying? But I had to go through certain obstacles to get there to really feel this, you know what I'm saying? To really feel like, yeah, I am him. I'm that guy. I'm one of them ones. You have to really go through some things. I ain't gonna lie. Throughout my whole life, it was nothing but struggles and broken, slave and, you know, slave life, broke like slave life. We all know this shit, right? But for me, it was just like certain obstacles, you know what I'm saying? Just like growing up, getting like, you know what I'm saying, flamed on because uh, I was skinny and shit and I started to hit the gym. And my life led to me hitting the gym every single day and me not skipping the gym for anything. I don't want to skip the gym. I love to hit the gym. You know what I mean? So I hit the gym six days out of the week. So you have to have a why you are great. You know what I'm saying? I hit the gym six days out of the week. I do not stop. I'm taking my YouTube very serious and I really am in the grind. I don't even get to be outside spending as much time with friends or family as much as everyone else is. I'm locked in the house grinding. You know what I'm saying? Other than the gym, I'm in the house. You know what I'm saying? I'm editing. You know what I'm saying? I'm reading books. I'm gaining this knowledge so I could really spit to you guys because, yes, you are the best. But you need to have that why and the reasoning to why you're really the best within your life. Because if you just go around saying, yeah, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best, it's going to help you. It's going to magnify you. But it's like you should like what makes it more stronger is that why, that reasoning of why you're, you're one of the best. You know what I'm saying? Not saying you are the best of the best of the best, but like you're one of the greats. I always say I'm one of the greats. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm the greatest of the greats, but like I still believe that. But I'm one of the greats. Not a question. And you have to have this thought process before even being there, right? Because if you have a lower thought process, you think you're just going to get the outcome of like, yeah, maybe one day I'll get there. I'll be a millionaire. No, the person who's already who has that million dollars, he already believed that he would get it way before then. That's what already made him want to get there. You know what I'm saying? He 
went maybe went like let's say back in the day where college is like you know what i'm saying was big maybe he went to school for a certain thing that you know what i'm saying a certain subject that would get him to be a millionaire he already knew through his steps that he'll be a millionaire so before and he was like yeah i know i'm gonna be a millionaire that's the same way i move i know i'm going to be a millionaire i know i'm going to get whatever i want within my life i know it. whatever i want i can get it that's it it's written off i know it it's inevitable whatever i want whatever car i want it's going to happen it's just the thought process of staying in the mud when you don't have it like how i don't have it right now you know what i'm saying with your family's broke you're poor everything like that you know what i'm saying throughout this time it, it's rough to have these thought processes because a lot of people can't fathom to think about that when they're in the mud but i'm in the mud with my head up above the mud above the water while everyone else is just drowning i believe i'm slowly getting out that water out of the mud the people who's in the mud, they stay in the mud. They stay in that water, drowning underneath. Not even not even their foreheads, you know what I'm saying, showing they're underneath the water. Their thought processes can never fathom. They, they, they'll never understand my thought processes, right? So I understand this one thing, too, I want to really emphasize as well, is that when you have higher thought processes and you try to share it to a lower being, right? So you are a higher being because you are thinking higher. That's all it is. Your thought processes are... The higher you think, the greater you'll be. The lower you think, the worse you'll be, right? It's simple as that. So when you have higher thought processes of being a millionaire or making a certain amount of money or getting a certain amount of women or whatever, whatever your goals is, whatever it is, right? For me, it's money, right? So when I would go and talk to my friends or my family, they will never, like, and I'm talking about my homies. I'm talking about family that I grew up with. They could never understand what's in this mind. Because this mind has higher thought processes and the other person's mind has lower thought processes. So when you say, I want to have a million dollars by a certain year or a certain, like, you know, age, which I do, that is smacking them in their face. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't have that thought process. They couldn't even fathom to believe that someone can make a million dollars in a year or someone that, you know what I'm saying? Being a millionaire is impossible to them. You know what I mean? But you're like, hey, man, I want to have a million dollars by this certain age. It's like it's smacking them. You can't have these processes or, or you can't tell these people your thoughts because they could never understand it. You know what I'm saying? And I had to swallow that pill. So now I understand when I talk to other people, I have to find someone like me to talk about it. You know what I mean? But do you know how rare that is? <laughs> do you know how rare that is to talk about money or certain goals and aspects and dreams and what, what you want to accomplish? Do you know how rare it is to find someone who like thinks kind of like you? I only have one friend, one friend that I'm really grateful for that I talk to. You know what I'm saying? He's an upcoming rapper, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to really leave his shit. You know what I'm saying? When he really on the come up, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to have some edits with bro's music. That's my goal, too. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna get there. He's out. He's in the mud, but he he has a thought process like me. So only he can somewhat understand what I think. Where I see people making 10k a month, right? And when I first heard 10k a month, I had that lower thought process where I was like, "Damn, these people really making 10k, 10k a month? Holy shit! Like that's a lot of money." Because you know I'm making two thousand dollars a month. You know what I'm saying? When back then when I was working, I'm like, "Yo, I'm only making 2k a month, and I'm slaving 40 hours a week." 50, 50 hours a week sometimes working. You know what I'm saying? Not That's not even OD slaving. 40 hours a week is regular. But I'm like, yo, I'm just working. I'm doing things I don't even want to do. I don't even like this job. But I just got to do it. But this dude doing 10K a month while doing what he loved to do. Right? And, and it, it, like, I had that broke, like, limiting self-belief back then. This was years ago, too. The first person who said the 10K a month that opened my eyes was uh, Hamza, my favorite YouTuber. And... I seen it and it opened a vision. And one thing he said in that video was like, yeah, bro, 10K a month is level one. I said, what? 10K a month, level one? Where, who, what, how? Fuck is you talking about what? 10K a month is level one. I'm looking at him like, bitch, I make 2K a month. I would kill to have 10K a month. You know what I'm saying? But there's levels in the game of the hierarchy of life. And especially within that business finance of money we are the lowest of slaves right now i'm in the lowest of slaves right now but i have the thought process of a millionaire because i listen to them I, I hear what they talk about every fucking day so when he said 10k a month is level one i said fuck what is he talking about right 
And he goes into a little story where he goes to like a business restaurant. It's like one of the bougie restaurants. And there's like real bowlers, like real people. You know what I'm saying? And he even mentions a lot of them are out of shape. A lot of them don't hit the gym, you know, things like that. And he's one of the studs because, you know, Hamza hit the gym. You know, he's somewhat good looking, no gay shit. But you know what I mean? He kind of stunting. But then like a guy bought a bottle in front of him for like 2500 smooth. Right. If you make 10K a month, you're not buying no $2,500 bottle like without second guessing. Right. He said this guy ain't even second guess. Smooth bought a bottle instantly. That guy probably make 100K, 200K a month. Smooth, maybe even more. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a million a year. Right. But also to go back to that fact that 10K a month is level one. It's in America. It's $120,000 a, a year. And then taxes, probably 30K. 90k left to you it's still a lot of money it's great i will be grateful i'm once i touch my first achievement of making 10k a month that's going to be a great day you know a really great day but that's not where the goal ends you know what i'm saying so your higher thoughts will smack regular people in the shit because you are great you believe you're the best i believe this shit when i go and talk about like like a lot of guys this is one thing too a lot of guys talk about women all day all day, this is what they talk about. Like, yo, let's go fuck some bitches. Let's go get some ass. More times than not, these guys don't get no ass. You know what I'm saying? And I don't even do nothing. And they all gravitate towards me. Because I truly believe that I'm the king. It sounds superficial that, yeah, I can manifest women, right? If you can manifest money, you don't think you could manifest more women in your life? That's the same thing. I didn't believe it until I really started to know who I was. I started to earn myself, started taking care of myself, smelling good. My haircut, look at me, bro. I'm sweating like a dog, but I'll take your bitch, bro. Just got my haircut done. You know what I mean? I'm I, I'm, I'm, him. I'm that guy. It's it. That's, it's written. I'm Patrick. They all come to me. That's my true belief system. I'm the king. Do you think the king goes up to every girl? Oh, can I get your number? Please, please, please. Like the rest of these peasants? No. The king is him. He holds... Uh, uh, I guess like a masculine frame and just talks to girls and they all gravitate towards him, right? And I just got a quick story time that th this shit just happened so instantly. Like this shit happened so quickly that it's just, it is what it is for me. I don't sweat women because the king is the pedestal. He is the best of the best in this world. The king. So everything gravitates towards him. He starts to get more money by putting in work, gets more women by putting in work on himself. That's my true belief system. That if I keep hitting the gym, taking care of myself becoming more of a man maybe even sometimes talking to more girls you know what i'm saying shit like that you're going to get way more girls of that you know what i'm saying it's like hitting the gym you do it for 10 years you're gonna get bigger you know what i'm saying so i'm only 21 years old but like by 25 i have a higher way higher belief system within myself that i will keep to myself because other people will never understand never but you know what I mean? A lot of this topic shit goes into women as well. You can manifest women into your life. Not a question. Not saying over here, like, uh, I, I'm going to get more women. Yada, yada, yada. And just like a fat, ugly, like slob. No, I'm going to get more women because I hit the gym and I get my haircuts and I walk confidently. I, I walk like I own this room. I walk like the true king. You know what I'm saying? They come to me because I'm the king and nobody fuck with me. I'm the king. They come to him. They want the best of the best. I am the best of the best. That's it. You have these outcomes within your life and you, these thought processes. It happens smooth, easily, not even lying. They'll come cold approach you. You know what I'm saying? For me, especially when I take care of, like I take care of myself all the time. You know, I'm dripped up. You know what I'm saying? I like to take care of myself. It's inevitable that that happens. You know what I'm saying? Who else is going to be better than me? I'm the king. She went with another dude. Oh, shit, man. That's, I'm sorry for her. You know, good luck with him because he ain't me. You know what I'm saying? And this might seem as cocky, ego, whatever the fuck you want to say. I'm him. I'm the best of the best. It is what it is. I'm going to have a better outcome of my life thinking this way than thinking like a regular slave of like, yeah, maybe one day I'll get a girlfriend or some shit. Like, what the fuck is that? That's so gay. Maybe one day I'll get a girlfriend. Like, what the fuck? You're a man. You are the king. Rule this shit. Duh, I'm gonna get a girlfriend. What? Well, one girlfriend. I can have five if I want to. That's the thought process of your life that you should have anyways because... You know what I'm saying? One is just like regular. If you want five, you can really get five. You can do anything your mind, your mind like thinks of. I, I know I can do anything that I want to do that I truly give a fuck about. I know I can do it. It's not a question because who else would do it? Fuck everyone else. I don't think or care for everyone else. 
know what I'm saying? You have to care for yourself, self-improvement. You have to think and know that you can do whatever the fuck that you want to do. You know what I'm saying? And going back to that thing where women, everything is about women with guys. I swear to you on my life. None of it's really about getting this money. None of it's, no no talks about getting money. No talks about improving their life, reading books, what book you read. Nothing, none of that shit, none of that shit. When you meet regular guys, just regular people who don't understand a lot of things, everything's about women. They put the woman on a pedestal, but I flip the game. I'm the king. I'm on the pedestal. They look up to me. That's my thought process. That's my belief system. That is who Patrick is. Because why the fuck? I have reasoning to believe this too. I have real reasoning that I might leave for the Patreon. I have a real reasoning to why I would never put women on the pedestal, right? Because I'm going through the mud. I'm here in the gym, pushing PRs, doing what I got to do six days out of the week, eating healthy, eating clean, taking care of myself, you know, working on my business, on my YouTube, working on my Patreon on the side, you know what I'm saying? Taking full care of myself day in and day out, full responsibility, right? And a girl can just be born with that shit. She can be born looking beautiful, right? And... She just wakes up probably like 12 p.m. Most women, I don't even want to hate on women. This is not a hate hate video towards women or anything. But they don't really do as much. I'm going to keep it a beam. I'm a man on self-improvement. You have to earn this shit. A woman don't got to do nearly as much as a man do. And that's that's a fact, bro. She's born beautiful. She's on. She gets certain access to certain things. They got guys giving her money, all sorts of things. I've done heard all of these stories of guys scamming uh, uh of girls scamming guys for money heard it all i swear to you and i know the woman in real life couldn't work on me because i'm the king but she looking up to me while you're sending bread to her in her pocket no so a lot of women don't really gotta earn a lot of things so i know my worth because i've earned it all i used to be the kid with acne all over my face and be insecure and not get no bitches now i'm the complete opposite because i believe and i had a thought process that by a certain age that I keep hitting the gym, I keep taking care of myself, I kept, like, like you know what I'm saying, I was taking care of my diet, got rid of all the bad things, you know, um, ate a certain way, and, you know, did skincare and shit, that all my acne went away, I got stronger, and I was gonna get more women. Let me tell you, that's exactly what happened. And it, right now, it's like times 10, because I really know that I get a lot of women. Every room that I walk into, everyone looks at me. It's like I'm a celebrity, because I know I'm the king. That is powerful. I get looks, smiles from everyone, women, all types of shit. So then going back and stemming back to the part with the guys, everything that they're, you know, simping over these women. Yeah, maybe one day I'll get a girlfriend or she's so beautiful. These guys, especially guys from out of the country, right? Because I just spent some time with guys out of the country. And this is very weird to me. Very fucking weird. And even guys within certain, like, I guess, towns and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Because I grew up near the inner city and I lived in the city. So... You know what I'm saying? Like, all it was, too, was about bitches. Like, yo, how many bitches you got? How many bitches you fucked, right? And in a way, the guy who does get a lot of bitches is, like, up here. You know what I'm saying? He does get glorified because it is so unheard of in certain countries that women are actually fucking on guys out here, right? Or, like, you know, having casual sex because in those countries, they can't do that. Mm Mm-mm. Them bitches will get... they, They will... Yo, they will disdain the daughter. They'll beat the daughter, all types of things. You know what I'm saying? If they find out that their daughter is fucking all sorts of things. I know this for facts. Trust me. So I spent some time with guys outside of the, the country, right? And they came into a, they came to America. And they see, like, these regular bitches. Regular, like, light shit. I'm talking about five, six out of tens. They even put them on pedestals as if they're, like, the ten out of ten. As if this dude just seen Beyonce walk in the, the cut. I swear to you. They act like the five out of tens or, like, the ten out of tens. You know what I'm saying? Like... How you would think a guy acts about a 10 out of 10, like, damn, that's the most beautiful bitch I've ever seen in my life. Simping and all that shit. That's how they treat the 5 out of 10s and 6 out of 10s. I swear, like, regular bitches. I'm like, nah, she's cool. Like, they're always, like, we were going, we went to a restaurant, right? Smooth as this, I already knew I was going to get the girl's number because I wanted it, right? So, let me just say that, right? But, you know what I mean? I seen her eyeing me. I seen all the cues. I already, she looked at me like five times. I looked at her. She looked away, you know, yada, yada, yada. We locked eyes. She kept looking away. You know, girls are like, get really scared when they look at a guy who's like, I guess, handsome. And I know who I am. I, I'm him. I'm that guy. So I already knew I was going to get her number. It's just inevitable. It's it's easy. It's just what I want. You know what I mean? And this really sounds like, like a dickheadish to guys who probably never get women. But once you really know this shit, like you'll understand. 
So we went out to eat, me and my family and some other dudes from another country, right? And these guys are around my age, right? So I guess they never really had a girlfriend or like women in their life. So they seen this like, she was like a seven, like cool. Like she was actually pretty. I'm looking at her. I'm like, okay, yeah, she is smooth. But the way that everyone else, all the other guys in that fucking room, like talked about her is like they idolized her. This is one thing about women. Never idolize a woman. You're on the pedestal. You're the king. How the fuck the king is going to idolize the, like the, the queen? Like, no, the king, the queen only gets power because of the king's there. If the, if the king's not there, nobody gives a fuck about the queen just because she's beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the call of our truth. So they're putting this girl on the pedestal. And I'm like, damn, y'all boys moving. Like, in my head, I'm like, because they all speak in Spanish. I don't speak Spanish as well, right? But, you know, I, I got some Spanish game too. No, qu no cap, bro. But I'm there. I'm like, yo, these guys move like sims. This is what I need to help guys with because I realize, like, my thought process is that they all come to me. I get all the bitches, you know, regular shit. So when they think of like these regular bitches, like she's a seven, but she's nothing too crazy. It's not like the, like Beyonce just walked in the room, but they're treating her as if talking about her. Like, yo, you see her? Look at her ass. Yo, she's so, she yada, yada, yada. And the ass was even all that. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you like cool, red, like smooth shit. Like I'm like, ah, I could fuck with it, but like it's smooth. It's nothing too crazy. Like why the fuck you gassing this bitch like that? Right. But they gassing her, gassing her, gassing her throughout the whole night. Cause it was like 10 10 10 um people there so the food took long we there you know what i'm saying i kept looking i like making eye contact with her and she kept looking away so i already knew i had that i was like okay i planned it in my head i'm like right, i'm gonna get her number after i leave so they're like yo bro go talk to her like they were they're like or they're like yo what do you rate her i'm like yeah she's a smooth seven max like nothing more like she's cool you know what i'm saying like a good because seven you know what i'm saying sevens are going to treat you like you know what i'm saying you living in heaven you know what i'm saying that's that's for the patreon though not a lot of people know that game but um they're like sweating this bitch, bro, and I'm sweating like a motherfucker right now, bro. I don't know, it's hot as shit. But they're 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 like, yo, bro, go talk to her, bro. Like they're challenging me to go talk to the bitch. I already planned on it. Like, yeah, I'm gonna grab her number, smooth. And they're like, yo, you can't get that, yada yada yada. I'm like, she's cool. Like, don't gas it now. Like she's a hot. like she's a seven, but don't gas it if she's a ten because I go get tens if I want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, I done talked to way better bitches than that. You know what I'm saying? But they don't understand that. They don't know that. Even if you try to explain it to them, they don't understand. So, the every kind of girl, even, like, you know what I'm saying? They just kept beasting them. I'm like, yo, these guys from out of the country, bro, they need to get some ass in their life so they can understand some shit, bro. But they pedestal these, like, put these women on pedestals. They like, yo, you got to take her out. You got to get her money. You got to go do this. I'm like, who? I'm like, yo, I don't move like, yeah, I don't got to do all of that shit. She like me. She going to come with me. You know what I'm saying? But I don't give a fuck. I take her to Burger King. She like me. She coming in with me. You dig what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Long story short, at the end of the dinner, you know what I'm saying? I go and talk to her. And then everyone in the, like, they come through and they're like whistling like, 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 what the fuck? Like, think about how corny that is. I'm talking to a girl, just talking to her. I didn't even, you know what I'm saying? I knew I was going to grab her number anyways, but. Like they're like they're all walking by to go like back to the car. They're like, I'm like, yo, I'm thinking in my head. I don't I don't pay no mind because I'm not giving that shit attention. But I'm like, yo, y'all some corn balls. What the fuck, you know? And I don't blame them because in their country they don't really, you know, what I'm saying they don't understand this. But this is why a lot of guys need that ism. So stay tuned for that Patreon, right? And I'm getting a little out off topic, but like. I already believed that I was the king, so I already knew that I was gonna grab her. Like I'm the best of the best. There's nobody who's better than me. So it's like that aura comes out in who you are. So when they see you, they are glorifying you because you're the king. The whole night, everyone's talking about me. Yo, you grab this girl number, yada yada yada. I'm like, yeah, that's smooth, regular shit. Like, I'm like, bro, y'all should go see me if I'm really outside. Like, it's easy. That's quick shit. Like, but like to them, they never understand that. Even to regular guys, these simps, simps all around here, they're scared to talk to girls. Why would I be scared to talk to a girl? Like I'm the king. Like she's scared to talk to me because I'm the best of the best. You think what the fuck I'm saying? Like, that's all that matters. And that's if you really believe that, that's what you are. Your higher beliefs, if you believe, like, yeah, I get 10 out of 10s, and you slowly start to get more women in your life, and then you you get a 10 out of 10, you're like, yeah, I get 10 out of 10s. Smooth, like, easy. But the regular guy, he's down low thinking, damn, like, these 6 out of 10s are the best. Yo, I got to do this for her, yada, yada, yada. These, she's the best of the best I've ever seen in the world. Like, no, I don't. Or they're thinking, like, yeah, it's hard to get a woman and shit like that. No, think that it's easy. You, once you think it, you know it and you start to believe it. It's just, it's the outcome. Like, it's it's regular shit. Like, that's smooth. Like, I don't be outside. I'll be trying to tell you. I don't even get to be outside like that. But when I do, it's easy. Whatever I want, I get it. It's, it's, 
it's it is what it is, bro. It is what it is, bro. So you have to believe that you're the best and no one's better than you because the outcomes in your life, whether with them relationships or women, you'll start to get more women. Kind of sounds gay to say, yeah, I manifest women, but in a way, it kind of is. Because, like, yeah, I do all of this work, and you have to have that reason why. Like, yeah, I hit the gym, I take care of myself, you know what I'm saying? I got my hair cut, you know, I'm, I'm looking good, whatever it is. And I earn to get more women. It's like you earn it. And that's when that feeling becomes like, yes, it's the truth because I've earned to get this woman or I earned to get more money, right? I know I'm going to get a million dollars because I'm going to do all the work that it takes to get there. You know what I'm saying? I'm a former plan. I already did. And just keep consistently working on that plan to win. You dig what I'm saying? So I know I'm going to be a millionaire. It's inevitable. I know I get bad bitches because it is what it is. I've been getting it the whole time. You know what I'm saying? But even before then, if I never had bad bitches in my life, I would believe, yeah, I already got bad bitches. Like, act like as if, act and walk as if you got 20 bitches in your phone. That's it. Act as if that and know that, like, yeah, I get bad bitches. You'll start to get more bad bitches because you believe it and you know it. And once you start to get more women and better, better, better women... You start to manifest and get more women. That, like, it's weird, but it works. And you are what you believe. I believe that I'm great, so I move like I'm great. That's it. So, my phone just died, bro. But it didn't die. It overheated because it was hot as hell. Y'all seen me dripping. But, yeah, bro, all it is that you got to really just lock in and just really believe in yourself and know yourself and know that you're the king. It's that simple because you start to move like him. That's it. You st Once you start to move like a king, you know what I mean? You take care of yourself. And you have the reasoning before it, the reasoning why that you are great, you will truly feel it and your aura will be magnified. I'm telling you guys, bro, they will respect you. People will come talk to you. People gravitate towards you. Girls smiling at you, all that shit. Regular. It will be so regular. I swear to you guys. So that's all that is, bro. You just got to believe higher thoughts and know higher thoughts and have them there in your mind. And sometimes say it out loud for affirmations because affirmation is true. And <clears throat> you will get exactly that. You know what I mean? I'm about to sit here, edit this video for you guys today. And you know what I mean? I'm about to go hit the fucking gym after this. So, you know, I just wanted, really want you to understand this because this law of attraction shit works. All of this spiritual, you know, a lot of people try to hate on the spiritual game and shit like that. Cool, go hate on it because you don't know no better. You don't know what I know. So, all right, if you want to go hate, leave hate comments like a virgin, go ahead. But if you really want to amplify it, better your life, hit that subscribe button, bro, because I'm going to be spitting way more game, all types of shit so that you guys can better your life. No funny shit. It's like I'm seeing this self-improvement shit and everything within it as like a game. That's all it is. It's just a game to me. Like how to get more women. All right. Do this. Yada, yada, yada. Or like how to get stronger, how to get uh, more healthier, you know, anything that you want in life, how to get more money. It's just like a game that you follow. And once you acquire the knowledge and you use it in real life. It really starts to work. You'll start to see what I'm saying. So hit that subscribe button, bro, because I'm going to spit some more shit. And um, <clears throat> I'm going to leave my last video right here for you guys. So, you know what I'm saying? If you missed on that, bro, go get some more game for your brain, bro. And uh, I love y'all, bro. So stay yourself. Stay 300. And whatever you do in life, trust me, I believe in you, bro.